Hello friends, just wanted to talk to you today. So a lot of people know in my life, not in YouTube world yet, but in my life, uh, they know I've been very much so into law of attraction, law of assumption. And one of the things that people tend to talk about within the community is everything is you pushed out, your mental state is everything, who do you want to be, what are you embodying, that sort of concept. Now, the point of this video is because I felt I needed to bring something to, to someone's attention in hopes that maybe it might resonate with them in a way that's useful. So one thing I've noticed about myself is I'm really great at giving advice to people in person. I'm not that self-conscious. I don't pay attention to a single thing anyone's thinking about me and whatever. In person, I am very, I own everything. I am often spoken highly of about my strength and my sense of humor and how I own who I am and that people admire that I am who I am. And I've had all different people from all different walks of life share with me that I am inspire them, which is great. Except I thought, you know what, I want to, for the past year now, I have considered the idea of putting something out onto YouTube and to just, I guess I have a video diary and to see where I go. If I help people, that's fantastic. And I just want to watch myself grow, you know, by leaving videos on a file, I'm never going to look at them again. And that kind of brings me to my upcoming point. So one thing I realized is I went through my file folder that has all my videos in it. And in there are tons of videos that I have made starting from as early back as May of this year. I start, I've made a decision in around April that I was going to do this. I'm not going to plan. I'm not going to dream. I'm not going to like, oh my God, it's going to happen. When I, and I put no effort into making it happen. I decided I was going to make it happen. And with that, I decided around May that I was going to take charge. I was going to make things happen. Just talk about anything. Just get used to the idea of being on camera. Now, I studied acting for camera for about five years. So I have some idea of what it's like to listen to my own voice. I make audios for myself, sleepy audios, pumped up audios for myself. I do all sorts of affirmation work. I'm used to hearing my own voice. It doesn't bother me. I'm used to the idea that my voice is a little deeper than the average woman. So when, at least to me, it is, I sound like a guy. You know, I always call myself a dude because I feel like I sound like a dude, but I realized I made odd, you know, when you make nighttime audios and you come in real sultry, it sounds really freaking good. It's relaxing to listen to. And I started enjoying listening to myself say the things I want my subconscious to understand as I'd fall asleep. I, I even have friends who will go, if I give you a list, can you please make me an audio too so I could sleep to your voice as well? And that takes me, it jars me a little bit because I'm not used to that concept. I'm used to hating my voice for so, so long that it's weird that people want to hear my voice. So I decided, you know, I'm going to go on YouTube. And then what happened? I made all these videos. I made a truckload of videos of things I wanted to talk about. I wanted my channel to start off being about manifesting examples. When I first started in the law of assumption community and law of attraction community, one of the things that I noticed is that people never gave real world examples. I'm a visual person. I'm a very visual person. I need to envision. I can't even turn a page on a book. I cannot turn the page on a book unless I visualize everything on the previous page. It takes forever to read a book that way, but that's how I read a book. So in my mind, when you're telling me on how I need to visualize what I need to do, how I need to do things, I want to visualize it. I want to see it in my own head before I move on 
to the actual manifesting part. What, you know, it's the idea of what is I want. How did it work for you? What happened in your life? What was your life like before? What did it, what did you transition into? And there are some love like Dylan James. You, if you, anyone watches him, I watched him years ago when he was getting going. And I remember him having a little phone propped up on his left hand side as he'd be either playing a game or typing something and he'd be talking to the, the phone and talking about whatever and he seemed so young he seemed like a little boy when he was doing these things and now I look at him now and he's this rugged handsome man who is who really made the world for himself out of do, out of doing just this he has no fluff he has no crazy intros no music it's literally him in front of a camera go bitch go you know and I admire him in so many ways especially watching him grow the way that I have I think it was like one of the first few thousand that he ever had and I watched him grow it was crazy so I wanted to create dynamics I wanted to create um, a visual for and talk honestly about what I'm manifesting what's worked what didn't work um, how I got there what played out what unfolded each step that unfolded in the story and each topic be a story i'd be glad to read your stories too tell me your whole story i will gladly read the whole thing out for you because not everyone likes to be on camera not everyone likes hearing their own voice in fact most of my friends don't like hearing their own voices and most of my friends don't like being on camera so i'm glad to do these things for them so what came of this though i made all these videos and what happened i noticed i had little bags under my eyes and all I noticed in every video are the little baggies under my eyes. Now, I had these baggies. I got them. It's a genetic thing. It goes as far back as my grandparents and my whole, a lot of my family has them. I am genetically screwed in this department. I guess I need an esthetician. I don't know. And one thing I noticed was this, this stood out to me. I got them when I was... I started noticing them showing up more when I had really bad allergies in my early 20s. Like, I would itch so bad the skin was breaking underneath my eyelids it was real bad it was dry it was flaking it was cracking it was it was like the skin was a mess it was bleeding and ever since then they healed looking this way like I've got some kind like I didn't sleep enough and I'm like well my teeth are a mess I don't like my teeth and I'm like well okay I see a lot of these like youtubers that have been on have all this thousand tens twenty forty fifty hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment that they're recording with but what am I recording with my Android my iPhone that I'm recording with right now my cardioid mic and my laptop over here I mean I mean I, I made the background I put the whole thing together but I'm like okay great I don't have all this crazy equipment. I don't have this crazy lighting. I don't have, per I'm not a supermodel with perfect hair and perfect teeth and, you know, perfectly coiffed hair and whatever. I didn't, I, I did my hair today though. I look kind of cute. And I look at myself and I'm like, wow, my teeth are a hot mess. My teeth used to be straight, but they're not anymore. Because when I was 27, my wisdom teeth came in and undid the whole thing. And I haven't had the spare seven grand laying around to go redo them again. Not to mention it took until I was about 39 or 40 to pull the wisdom teeth out that caused the problem in the first place. So that covers those two things. And I'm like, well, I'm about 20 pounds heavier than I'd like to be. I am going to the gym, so there's that. But that problem still exists. And I don't look like a... I Justine, or I don't look like some of these people that have been on here for years. 20 years 15 years or as long as YouTube's been going I don't look like some of these folks you know and that's okay I look at celebrities and I notice their bottom teeth are a mess when they smile you watch movies you tend to notice your the in, things that make you insecure you tend to notice in celebrities I guess it's some kind of validation that not everyone's perfect and I look at the little I look at how a lot of people's bottom teeth are a mess because their top teeth are usually straight because they're veneered but the bottom teeth are usually a mess and there are a lot of I was surprised how many how many celebrities bottom teeth are not straight and they're kind of a jacked up mess and I'm like oh and I look at I'm like so in a perfect world I would just veneer my teeth and have a perfect brightly smile but I don't and I thought well at some point 
when I start getting traction, I will go invest in like Smile Direct or Bite and I will have them professionally fixed. And or I go to my dentist and go look at Invisalign or something along that vicinity that would let me fix these without metal wires again. But I'm not there yet. So there you go, crooked teeth, and baggy eyes, and a saggy chin, and a voice that sounds like a dude. And I look at these things, and, I, and I, each video I created, I looked in the folder, and I've been either trashed them entirely, or I've been them into the folder. Yeah, I'll get around to editing that eventually. And why don't I edit it? Why do I leave it there? Because I don't want to look at it. Why don't I want to look at it? Because I'm embarrassed by it. Well, if I'm embarrassed by it, so is everybody else going to be embarrassed by it? Here's the point in this long-winded, we're at 10 minutes now, which is longer than I want to be. Here's the point I'm trying to make in this community, in any community. I'm a victim to my own insecurities. Insecurities that I'm sure every human being has. You're lying if you have no insecurities. Everyone's got something about them they wish was either different, they want to change, they don't like, they just flat out just don't like, um, whatever. There is something about every person that they don't like about themselves or they wish was different. I don't think I've met a person alive who doesn't like dislike something. And you know what? It is what it is. I can't, I'm not going to continue to make piles of videos that never see the light of day solely because I am insecure about how I look. Yeah. All right. You can put on some makeup. Well, guess what? I feel very inauthentic when I wear makeup. There are some people in my life that feel very inauthentic without makeup on. And honestly, when I see them without makeup, it's actually kind of weird because they always have it on. But for myself, if I don't, if I put on a face of makeup, I feel very plasticky. I, my mouth moves weird. My face moves weird. Like, I feel like I'm sticking to my, I, I feel so uncomfortable that I don't feel authentic. I don't feel real. I don't feel truly myself. So you know what? This is what we're going to get. Here's what we're going to do. We're going as a collective. If you've gotten to the 12 minute mark here, we're going to do this as a collective. We're going to look at the flaws that we absolutely hate. And we're going to look in the mirror and go, I like that. I like that because that part makes me me. Sure. It's not up to beauty standards and ideals, but it's me. And I fucking love me for who I am. Think about it. I started this in May, April, May. Okay, we'll say May, June, July, August, September. We're now in October. Okay, five months. Five months of making videos that I threw in the garbage or I put in a folder never to look at again solely because I didn't like the image of what I was looking at. I didn't, not the voice. Like I'm, oh, I could deal with the voice. I'm used to my voice. But well, what are people going to say? Oh, you're like a dude. Um, what about your eyes? Oh, you're, you know, whatever. People are going to, you know, people are going to talk regardless because they bring out their insecurities into other people's lives. People are going to talk anyway. Irrelevant. They're going to talk regardless. So screw it. You might as well love yourself in the process. You might as well enjoy the road. Enjoy it all because it makes us who we are. And so, you know, enough been in the videos. Enough with the garbage. Starting now. Authentic. Me, real. You're going to hear stories. You're going to, we're going to go on journeys together. I'll read your stories. If you send me stories, I'll be glad to read your stories aloud. I'll tell your stories of how, what you wanted to manifest and how you got there and how you received it or what you manif or what you wanted to manifest. And this is the road you took. This is what you visualized. And this is the opposite direction it took. And it, and you realize, you know what? I did all this wrong. I had a few of those stories. I'd be happy to share with you. Things I imagined I really truly wanted. And 
after going down the road for a while, I realized this was really the wrong choice. This is the wrong direction. Or I realized how it manifested or how it started to manifest was completely not what I wanted. Let's do that. I want to give you stories. I want to give you visualizations. I want to sit here, not with my Stanley cup, with my knockoff cup or a cup of coffee or a cup of hot chocolate in my fireside chats. Why I call it the fireside chats? Because I imagine on a cool night or a cool day sitting by your fireside with your, your little cup of coffee with your friends and just sharing a story or sitting with a grandparent or sitting with a parent as they sit there and as your child sits on the floor and you tell them a story of your childhood or something amazing, an amazing story you wanted to share. And that's what this is based on. Starting now, we change it. We change everything about ourselves, about myself, and how we perceive ourselves. Let's rock this shit for everything it is. Let's get over these humps. And I'm ready. Join me.